God, this is so much fun. I'm glad I got two monitors so we could play on this. Yeah, it's awesome. You wanna know something? I bet you Hanzo will beat the shit out of your fucking bastion. You gotta pause this game. Hanzo has nothing on Bastion. What the fuck do you mean? Yeah, Bastion no. is a god. No, he's not. All he does is shoot his machine gun and leaves him wide open. Hanzo looks like a rundown Mr. Miyagi. You fucking bitch. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh. Okay, fucking die. Uh, it was just a joke, bro. It was just a joke, bro. You think the last review was a bad game? This is Overwatch. This is going to be a review of a good game. A great game, an excellent game. game, of the game. This is the most decorated and captivating multiplayer I have ever played. And I keep playing because I'm addicted to it. Here's me, DJ Jelly, and a couple of other friends playing this game while I review Overwatch. So this is the story I got. In the 21st century, technology has advanced to the point where they are truly intelligent machines that are incredible pieces of technology, known as the Omnics. And their purpose was to run humanity's manufacturing in the hopes of stabilizing a global economy. You know, getting us out of a job. But somewhere down the line, they made these robots with soul or emotions, if whatever, if you're a dick, you know. I robot. Yeah, you get it. Time goes on, they've gone rogue, and they are made for war now. How do we stop this tyranny of Omnics? The United Nations have formed Overwatch, a group of individuals who are heroic human beings. Let me guess, saving people from their own inventions. Oh shit. After winning the war, now they're set to a different pace. Now some Omnics is on our side, but that quickly made humans distrust them. There's one part of the population that wants them all gone, and another part of the population that wants them to have equal rights. Omnic's lives matter. Okay, so this is the lore of the game. Now let's get to the review. Here you start off selecting a character from your team. Now on the right, it will tell you that if you're missing any support characters, or missing any tank characters, or a builder. Or anything else that you're missing from this team. Which I think is pretty cool because you want a well-balanced team. Unless you're like two dicks online who wants to play Hanzo and I pick them first. Now let's get to the actual gameplay. In Overwatch, there's four game modes. The first one is Escort. This game is contested on a vehicle going to its destination. So if you run out of time and the vehicle is not contested and not moving, you lose. Have fun doing that while the other team is pushing your payload back. The best way to play this is when you have all five of your allies around the payload so the payload will move quickly. And I do gotta say, emotes or any type of communication is necessary. The second game is called Control, which two teams fight over the series of objective areas in a best of three format, which is contesting the objective until you get to 100% before the other team does. And the best part about this is that they change the stage every round. So, you got a uh, good advantage if you like the next round to switch it up a little bit. The third one is called Assault, in which the attacking or defending team must attempt to take or defend the capture point across the map. So if you're on the offensive side, you would have to capture the objective in a certain order. If defender, you would have to take them off the objective. If the attackers take over the objective on time, they win. And last but not least is the hybrid game mode. Now this is the fun one, which Assault and Escort are combined in this mode. You have to take over the objective. After you do that, the payload comes in and you would have to take it to its destination. But if the defenders take over your objective when time runs out, you lose. I gotta say, I love these modes and how they keep the flow of going to each and every one of them. When it's randomized, it's a good solid pace of the game. Fucking awesome. Oh wait, I had a beef earlier in the show. Give me one sec. How the hell did that sword? Uh... Okay, so I dropped my bow and 
All right, let's move on. I have to talk about the heroes in Overwatch and how they bring their own unique skill into the battle. I personally use Hanzo, one of the best bow marksmen I've ever seen in a game. It's like Link in a samurai form in Call of Duty. Look how many headshots I can get with Hanzo. Huh. Woo! See? That's what I'm talking about. That feels amazing. Ah, as much as I talk about Hanzo, we were talking about Omnix before. And DJ Jelly uses Bastion. Bastion is one of the greatest machine guns that you can ever get in your team. The guy is unstoppable. He's giving bullets away like Oprah on Warfare. You get a bullet. And you get a bullet. Everybody gets bullets. Oh shit. Oh shit. Genji players? Ugh. Fuck this shit, man. You know what? We're both good. Alright? Give me a hug. In this whole fighting scenario, there's one thing that me and DJ Jelly can agree on. We fucking hate Genji. And I apologize for you watching at home who was probably a Genji player. I don't hate you. I hate that you use Genji. You're probably gonna see a stream of me and DJ Jelly or any of my friends playing against Genji who are raging out right now. And I don't have the proper footage to show you that I get killed by Genji a lot, but damn, your reflectors are bullshit. Your cooldown is so quick. Every time I try to shoot you, you guys deflect it right back in my head or fucking body or anywhere, and it kills me. Twice as much as I can kill you. The dragon becomes him more like God himself. No wonder Hanzo hates his brother. He's full of shit. He goes on a killing spree like an unlimited supply of high noons from McCree. But the worst part is he's right in front of you while he's doing it. Killing you in cold blood with his mighty sword. It's nuts. Okay, let me get off of him before I get more bad comments on YouTube. Okay, there is one more hero that I gotta talk about because she is brand new to the game. She was just added and she's amazing. Her name is Anna, and she is a support sniper. That means when she shoots a teammate, she can heal them. But if she shoots an enemy, it takes like three little shots, little pellets, which is awesome. I mean, it's not the correct Widowmaker uh, sniper, but it's all right. She also has a sleep ability to make your opponent sleep, but that sleep ability gives your opponents buffs so if I use my special it will give my allies an attack buff that means if I use it on my best friend Bastion here it will give his machine gun or his uh, rocket launcher a quick way for enemies to die this is really really nice in the game now I will be using her after this because she is definitely a team player and I would look forward to any more characters on overwatch What more can I say about this game? I love the multiplayer co-op mechanics and everything about it. It's so unique and fresh and innovative. It's a game that you can make a lot of friends with. The special part about this is that every character doesn't have a gun. Every character has a different type of weapon that they can use to their arsenal. Either support or just straight up defense. I mean, Hanzo has a bow. Uh, Mercy has whatever the hell that she has, like a healing gun or fucking portable thing, you know, stuff like that. And it's great that Blizzard found out the formula to make a video game feel nice and addicting again. I mean, I played countless hours on the game. Even that's cray cray, and it's a Blizzard game. I played Diablo sometimes, but it gets boring, and World of Warcraft wasn't my thing. But to play Overwatch is truly something special. I can go outside and to public places and talk to people and they talk about Overwatch, which is awesome. I would love to talk about Overwatch and what happened to me in like certain stages and everything. They'll get it. And we get Blizzard IDs and we play later on. That's a great feeling, you know, just to go outside and people love to play overwatch and you blizzard you did a great job with this game
my overall review, 10 out of 10. Just straight 10 out of 10. You stole my heart. Thank you.